And speaking of North Korea's big celebration this Sunday, it's now been confirmed that it will not be attended by Chinese President Xi Jinping. Instead, President Xi will be sending his right-hand man. Some say the Chinese leader is avoiding Pyongyang to prevent some potential diplomatic awkwardness. Yi sung jae has more. North Korea will celebrate the 70th anniversary of the regime's founding on Sunday. But one VVIP that won't be there is Chinese President Xi Jinping. According to state media in both countries on Tuesday, President Xi will instead send a high-level delegation led by Li Zanxu, the chairman of China's National People's Congress. Li will travel to Pyongyang on Saturday, a day ahead of the celebrations, as President Xi's special envoy. Li, considered the third most powerful official in China and President Xi's right-hand man, will be the highest-level Chinese official to visit North Korea since President Xi came to power in 2012. In recent weeks, there have been speculation President Xi might attend these celebrations in what would have been his first visit to North Korea. The Chinese leader has met North Korean leader Kim Jong-un three times this year, but always in China. According to a former senior Chinese official, President Xi might believe he has little to gain from such a visit. With Pyongyang and Washington in a deadlock over how to proceed with the denuclearization talks, the Chinese president would be put in an embarrassing position if the North's military parade includes nuclear-capable weaponry. China has supported proposals encouraging Pyongyang to give up its nuclear arms. A visit would have also risked angering the U.S., which is strongly urging Beijing to maintain maximum pressure on North Korea. With or without President Xi's attendance, regional players, including China, are eager to see whether North Korea's military parade will include a display of intercontinental ballistic missiles. Experts say their absence from the streets of Pyongyang on Sunday would signal to the world that North Korea might be serious about denuclearizing. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.